Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. But I definitely want you guys to um, to hit the like button. It helps to keep the video on the algorithm. Also, if you um, subscribe to the channel, I you know, there have been a lot of people subscribing. I appreciate that so much. But I still see like... I mean, I was looking at some videos just from the other day. It was like the unsubscribers, the numbers were double. <laughs> so if you're forgetting to hit the subscription button, definitely hit the subscription button. Um, also, if you would like to support the channel, you can support the channel via Cash App or you can hit Super Thanks. This morning, I wanted to talk about, and, and kind of on a light note, the spirit of young doll lives on. There was a young lady that had tagged me in a, you know, a video that she did. I can't think of her name. Uh, I'll get it in a few. Um, but, you know, I had also been talking about, you know, the spirit of, of, of young doll. Um, I did a video a few weeks back. Uh, talking about young Dolph. Um, spirit is spinning. Okay. And I think, a lot of people that truly don't just speak, you know how people speak things out and I'm just talking about in the world, but we don't, I don't necessarily know if it penetrates them, if they necessarily believe it. Cause sometimes people speak stuff out just because of habit, but they're not really in tune that there is a spiritual world that when the body is killed, the spirit ascends to another dimension because we are spiritual beings, right? And we were spiritual beings before we ever even was given this shell and came to planet earth, right? Um, because there is a God, okay? So when they killed young Dolph, they did not kill him. They killed his physical shell. Uh, they allowed their jealousy to make them kill his physical shell, but he just ascended back to where we came from okay and that's all powerful okay back to the almighty god right and so a lot of people feel like you know <clears throat> because you know the devil is the um author of confusion okay the chaotic agent and you know, because of so many low vibrational people, so many demonic forces that are on earth, they have been penetrating black people with their ide ideologies and you are the God. And it's a lot of black people think that they are God, right? But they're actually demonic forces. They're turning them into demonic forces. And so when I talk about all of this frustration um, that some of the, some people may have, it is because they have been made to believe that they are God. And some of these people was doing this way before some of them, I'm just talking about anybody in the world that, you know, has been tricked into believing that they can run something because of their money. Um, because they're controlling low vibrational people that don't know who they are yet they are robotic when it comes to position and money because they put man in the position of god so they'll do yeah i'll go do anything for you i'll go kill anybody just give me some attention you're gonna give me some money a lot of people have made money their god okay and so unfortunately they put themselves, some people have put themselves in a godlike position because they have so many low vibrational people around them. We see how people are on heroin and heroin pills and fentanyl, which is horse tranquilizer. Like it's so many low vibrational people that are that's easy to be controlled because of narcotics. They have doubled or tripled the narcotics, especially in the black community, okay? Because they never want black people to really be conscious, right? So when I say young doll spirit lives on, I, I think about, you know, how people are frustrated because all of this stuff is happening. They want to bank, blame vloggers. They want to blame Grove Hero. It is the spirit of God that works through man. No fuck nigga or demonic force, which is a fuck nigga, could ever stop the plan of God. 
Lord, okay, pace me, God, because I, I, I get very passionate when it comes to this. Okay, because I, I see these devils that have been put here to manipulate, but I come against them. God, you move them by any means necessary. Okay, I ain't going to even have to expose them. Okay, because God going to expose them. Okay. But a lot of people, and I'm I'm talking about those that have. Um, I'm talking about those that have been put in a position to try and keep the blinders on people. That's when I that's what I say about the exposition. Okay, I won't even have to do an exposition of them because God is already working on that because He removes the blinders, and a lot of these people are upset especially as it relates to this young doll situation, because God is moving through man. That's what God has always done. He said, it is I that touched the heart of man. Okay. It is I who touched the heart of man to get man to do what is necessary for the kingdom of God. When it's all said and done, when these niggas get through, they had no right to take young doll's life or anybody else's life. Okay. Had it been Gotti, they wouldn't have had a right to take Gotti's life or Junk's motherfucking life. Because they are humans, okay? Now, what makes these niggas think that they have the right to plot and plan and consistently destroy the black community? I don't know. It's got to be because a lot of these folks are comfortable with doing it because they've gotten away with it. But young doll's spirit lives on. Okay. And when I say that, I'm talking about human beings. Ain't no human. Got no right to take another human's life. They're mere man. You're not God. And these folks are consistently being comfortable with destroying. Okay. How in the hell folks think it is okay to consistently destroy the black community? Then they get up there with their yellow ass teeth and slob running all out their damn mouth and snot running out their nose and stand on their damn soapbox and talk about, we's a black people, sis. We ain't supposed to be going against each other, you fuck nigga. Why in the hell should we not tell on a black person that is destroying a community that we got to live in? Okay. Young dog spirit lives on. Now, a lot of people got the issues confused. They sitting up looking at man because people are being more comfortable. They're saying, for God, I live and for God, I die. Okay. Because we all got to go one day. Okay. But I'm not going to be a prisoner in my neighborhood to a bunch of niggas that I can help the police get off the street, especially if they are terrorizing the neighborhoods, okay? Young dog spirit lives on. So as I was getting ready to say, because I keep trying to get to it and then God just puts something else in my mind and I have to go and say it before I forget it, Okay. They got the issues confused, like I said, because they're they mad at everybody else. They mad at everybody else because they can't control everybody else. And I'm not talking about a specific person. I'm just talking about any demonic force that think that they can control God's people, right? That want to do right, okay? And so they get mad and they go, well, it, it's, it's that vlogger, it's that person, is this person? No, God, Dolph has ascended to another dimension. He he really unfwittable, unfuckwittable, as they say. You can't touch that. You too low vibrational, as I've been saying. You made him immortal on earth, and now he you he's this you 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 fixed it because you wanted to play God, 
and God just went ahead and took his spirit on up to another dimension where he could spin on you niggas. And you was wrong because the earth shook. And we haven't necessarily felt another earthquake on that Richter scale since he died, but it's some niggas lives that are being shaken up like an earthquake and it's on a higher scale. But being true to the devil that a lot of these dudes are, they're bringing in other fools that have not had any guidance at home that's already low vibrational and troubled to mess their lives up just like they did them fools in jail down there. Okay? People have not allowed that to register. You, As I keep saying, you got people putting other men before they put their own damn children. They kids, it ain't, they kids just ain't enough for them. They don't mean enough to them. And it's a damn shame that another man mean more to them than their own mama. Even if they ain't got kids, they got a mama. Who you think when it's all this stuff is said and done, that's going to be the only person by your side trying to get to you and see you because other stuff going to fade away. The other people. Thou spirit lives on. Okay. So his spirit lives on through his children. Who, by the way, somebody got mad and got on my page the other day and said, F his kids. I hope they die. I come against you by the power of the Holy Ghost. We got on the praying line that night. I don't even know who you was. I deleted you so fast because you, you you was just too sick. I didn't want that energy no around, nowhere around me. But you can look for God to come passing through. Okay? Because he said, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. I don't even know you. But I already know with the prayers that have gone forward, you will eat them words. That justice that God got for you is way worse than any justice, way more deadlier. Okay, than any justice that any man could ever put up on you. You have to be careful about the words that you speak out and speak into the atmosphere. Okay. You just spoke something up on yourself because of your emotions. And it's a darn shame that, and, and, and Dolph is still spinning in the spiritual. He loved his kids more than anything. I don't even know who you was. I just know you was an, you had to have been an emotional fool. So I'm sure with God, Dolph spinning in the spiritual on these niggas, you probably already got your justice. Right after you said it, because he loved his kids more than anything. And this energy is still around. His spirit, okay? His spirit lives on. So I think what a lot of these terrorists need to understand before they go and do any crash dummy thing for stripes, which ain't going to matter in a year, okay, or for some money, which you won't get to spend, is that they can't control anything in the spiritual realm. It has already been determined. And God says, vengeance is mine. So everything that's happening is imminent. I'm sure another power, another being took over Grove Hero, which is the reason that he couldn't hold it in no more. That man been holding that in for over 12 months. But when the spirit of God steps in and say, it is time for my vessel to be used, it had to come out. But the good thing about it is he ain't said nothing that a million folks ain't already said, okay? And it is God who works through the federal prosecutors and FBI agents and the DEA agents, which are federal agents, okay? And the Memphis police investigators, it is God that works through them to keep them hungry and determined to get justice in totality because they could have stopped a long time ago. They already got about four folks. But they are determined. And that ain't nothing but God right there to get terrorists off of the street. That ain't somebody trying to take a black man or a black woman off the street. That's somebody that God has put in a position 
to make sure that the black men and the black women on that are on the street, that are law abiding citizens are safe. You fuck niggas that want to make folks feel bad so y'all can feel comfortable with going and raping the women and children and putting them into human trafficking and beating them up and all the evil shit that you do and killing them. Okay, you want to feel comfortable with doing that. So you want to make those who could take your predatory ass up off the motherfucking street feel bad about doing it. But the devil is a lie. Okay? His spirit lives on. And the spirit of those who, whose lives were interrupted, not just young dogs, lives on. And they get, they're going to get justice. They're going to work with because God is God. Okay, and there will be justice. So when a person's spirit, a person's spirit lives on, instead of some of these niggas, and I'm just talking about folks all over the world, falling to their knees and repenting. Okay, they still don't want to give up that I'm bad. I, I'm I'm God. I got this money. I could put a bag on your head. I'm I'm the God. They can't give it up, even though God's showing them. No, nigga, I'm I'm the true living God, not you. And I whoop your ass, cat raggedy. They still don't want to give it up because low vibrational people have made them think that don't know who they are and whose they are have made them think that they are God. They still don't want to give up. So the FBI saying we'll spin on these motherfuckers. Okay. We'll get them out. They don't even want to give it up. We'll go up onto a rock. We're we going to stop. No, I got to have the illusion of I am God and that I exert fear. It, you know, but that that's just how God has standing, has, has put it in, has um put, put, that's how God has put it into play because the Bible says a pride, Pride comes before fall. They pride just won't let them give it up. I want to be the one to put the fear in the people. I'm the hitter. And the FBI saying, you the right kind, you stupid motherfucker, because you playing into our hand. A vlogger ain't told us shit. You the dumb, stupid motherfucker. You the right kind, because we going to show you we got the power. And it's God that worked through them. Okay? Thou spirit lives on. Okay? And I speak with a lot of passion because I've seen a lot of stuff and it's a lot of stuff I wouldn't dare talk about. Trust me, I ain't dumb now. It's a lot of stuff I don't say and I wouldn't dare talk about. But it's a good thing that I know that there is a God. And trust me, if I know something, it don't come from off of the street. I think I've been put that into the atmosphere. It's because the people I already know. That's how I know it is the spirit of God that works through man. And these folks mad at the wrong folks. They looking at man. It's because they're so demonic and so low vibrational. And they have put themselves in a position that they dare not have. And that's a God-like position. They can't even understand that the real living God, not them, because they ain't, is the one that's spinning on them. It's imminent. He says, when I get them back for what they did, you're going to see me get them back. I am the only true living God. That's what he said. His people, his true people, because it's a lot of people that have just accepted being demonic. They are devils. But his true people, which is us, are in the image of him. And he works through us. That's why I say you got to know whose you are. That's the reason why when you go to sleep and you have dreams and they come to pass, that's the spirit of God speaking through you. The Bible says it is God that speaks, that, that whispers in your ear, revealing the mysteries of his word as you sleep. That's why you can go to sleep and say, and then it happens, I dream that. Because his righteous people are in the image of him. Really, all people are supposed to be. It's just some people that have put, that have taken, accepted being demonic and have put money and now clout 
Just give me my five minutes. I don't care if I have to do life, if I never see my kids again. Just give me my five minutes in that illusion of me being bad. And that illusion of having somebody scared. Because once you kill them, you got no more power over them, you fuck nigga. You really just made it where you and anything connected to you got to suffer. That's why I don't let everybody connect to me. I don't know what kind of bad karma they got going on with them. And I got sense enough to know even through the years, because I said in the past, I dated some street dudes that whatever it was that they was doing that I didn't know about, God would disconnect it so quick because they had to go through some stuff that I, I knew I was a good person. A lot of people don't understand why God disconnect relationships sometimes. Sometimes these folks out here doing all kinds of stuff. It has to be disconnected because they got to reap what they sow and God don't want you there with them to go through that shit with them. We as women, we always trying to nurture and make things better. And it's a lot of stuff we ain't even got to go through. And God was saying, uh-uh, you got too much on your life. I'm going to disconnect this because this nigga got too much to go through. He going to pay for what he doing that you don't see. That's why I don't let everybody connect to me. And when I see they got a bad energy on them, I'll run from them. And God will let me see they'll snap at me, try to bite me. He, he, he always protects me. And I said, God, there it is right there. I show thank you. That's why I don't really give second chances. You don't get the second chance to go ahead and finish me off after you just tried to stab me in my back. You don't get that. Okay. His spirit lives on. So people are mad at the wrong thing. Grove Hero ain't did nothing wrong. If folks don't think talking about smoking on a Dolph pack was evil, that was demonic on a whole nother for on a whole nother level. The young man didn't lose his life. Grove Hero put into the atmosphere what it's supposed to be. And there's put your put your put your hands up and let's fight it out. A lot of them can't do it. So these folks mad at the wrong thing. The more you plot, you 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 need to worry about because see, a lot of times that bad karma comes back and it hits the people around you. Some people are so demonic that they pull people that are that's that's connected to them into that bad karma. You have to reap what you sow. If you ain't righteous, you better get right because this is the season of revelation. God is snatching anything that has been hidden, all the blindness off the people for them to see what's right and then do what's right because he has all power, not some man. It's just too many low vibrational people that won't clout. I'll go and try to do some tour. And then when you come to my office, I fill you up with holes. They didn't have to do it like that. You was an immediate threat to me. And it still don't stop nothing. Because justice will be served. It's imminent. It ain't got a damn thing to do with me. Because as I said before, I ain't, I'm not on this Dow's case. It's no way that I could vlog about this case and then be on the case. I'm not on it. I'm not trying to get information for no damn body. And it ain't nothing I could tell them that they don't already know. And they know way more than what I know. Because they, they dealing with the people that truly know that's helping them. And I'm talking about the witnesses, whoever they are. And they ain't had to go out there and search for no witnesses because God has his people everywhere. They volunteered when it first happened. Okay? Because God says, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. His spirit lives on. Instead of these OGs telling these young dudes what's right, they're plotting and planning to destroy more lives. These fools are on all kinds of narcotics and drugs. They don't realize these OGs destroying their lives. They don't give a damn about them. You don't send nobody on no dumb mission that you care about. Because you know their lives are going to be ruined one way or the other. Either they're going to die 
okay? Or they're going to do life. Either way, you ruin their lives. And because people, a lot of these dudes don't know what real love is, because they've grown up in messed up homes, they they look for validation, their self-esteem is so low. They'll let them do it. Bro, love me. He gave, he went and bought me a chop and told me he'd go on a hit for him. If bro loves you, bro, put you up on how you can get you some real money without putting your life in danger. If bro really up on game, like he said, put some of them business consultants in front of you to show you how to flip some of that real estate. Not after you go hit somebody, you fuck nigga. But just because he want to spread the love, brother, I want to see you up out the street. You got to get your mind right, though. You got to leave that street shit alone. We getting some money for real. We can't have that bad karma up on us. Because trust me, it comes back around again. And it ain't nothing right about these dudes dying at 25 and 30 and 35 and 40 or Tina. It ain't nothing right about that. Man, he ain't, at least I live to be 30. 30 is still young. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a young man. You're supposed to be living life. These black men got the issues confused. And ain't nothing these OGs doing right. And they know it. Okay? They send these young men up to die, either on the outside or in the inside. When I say on the inside, that's jail because that's a life sentence, okay? Because ain't nobody getting away with nothing. God ain't going to let them because he got his people everywhere. And they starting to speak up now because Dal spirit lives on, okay? All right, you guys. I just wanted to talk about that. I just had to put that into the atmosphere. These people got the issues confused. They mad at the wrong people. If they're going to be mad at anybody. They better be mad at God. And that ain't going to do them no good either. And they don't know how to do that because in their sick minds, they have put themselves in a God-like position because you got folks on their knees bowing to them like they God for crumbs. Whereas they, if they truly realized who they were, they would never have to eat crumbs again because God would give them the whole steak. You'd be eating steaks every day if you really realized who you was and got up off your knees and stopped praising these dudes that's sending you out to do, to do things that are not conducive to your livelihood. Okay? If you truly realized who you was, he'd give you the whole restaurant. A lot of people just don't know who they are. And they get mad at the wrong person because they don't forgot about who the real God is. The real God can't be touched because he's in another dimension. And they don't even understand that everything that's going on is a plan of God and it's imminent. If they did, they wouldn't be plotting with their choppers and that's going to backfire on them anyways. Because ain't nobody getting away with nothing because the real God has stepped in. And he ain't walking around on this earth either. He's in another dimension. Young Dolph's spirit lives on. And I'm not saying that Young Dolph is God. I'm talking about the almighty God where Dolph's spirit has gone back to be with. It's walking around. And it's a lot of praying warriors because I was on the phone with some spirit filled women the other night from out of Memphis and I know it's some spiritual beings walking around because we prayed them down no demon man could stand against that and so that's why I say these OGs better get that up under control because the only thing they doing is setting these young dudes up to die that's the only thing that's going to happen but anyways you guys please like share and subscribe I want you guys to know that I love you. When I put stuff into the atmosphere, it comes strictly from the heart. The delivery might be a little kooky sometimes because I'm a very passionate person. Somebody said, are you a Gemini? I said, oh my God, that's almost like an insult. Call me crazy. 
Okay. That's a little funny. I'm not a Gemini. I'm, you know, my mom and them are Geminis. Who, Jesus, Lord have mercy. Geminis got two heads. And, mm -mm, I'm not bipolar like that. I'm a warrior. I'm a lioness. And I roar. Okay. I like order. God likes order. It has to be some order in our community. Okay. All right, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I want you guys to know that I love you and I'll talk with you later.